Well, I want to come here, and um, I've got to get this man away from me, because he keeps measuring me for a coffin. I didn't know they did it with a tape measure, but nevertheless, uh, he's here, and uh, he keeps giving to me a name of Scarlet. And he's up there somewhere. Where do, that's where he is. And someone knows something to the man who must have been an undertaker when he was here, and seems to give me the name of Scarlet. Am I right? That's where he is. Oh dear. Nobody knows you. I'm getting something to do with Durham Road. It's something to do with someone that knows two people. And I felt that I had something to do with George and something to do with Herbert. And the gentle, gentleman seems to be where the gentleman is that put his hand up a little while ago. Do you know that, sir? I knew George Scarlett, who was an undertaker in Norwich, and I too knew two other undertakers in other parts of the country. Oh, there you are. I've got this, this contact, you see here, and I also heard a voice say to me, Tell him that I knew Mr. Fitt. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. You knew Mr. Fitt. Well, I've got this contact here, and every time I walk, he walks with me, measuring me up, so I know. <laughs> and I'm worried, you see, because I said to God, keep me alive until the celebrations of the centenary are over. <laughs> and uh, as we're coming to the end of this one, I'm wondering if he's reminding me I'm coming to the end of things, you see here. <laughs> but will you accept, sir, that he wants to make this contact, you see here? Yes. He is talking about this Durham Road, and he also says to me here that he knew a man that you knew by the name of Spear. Yes, I knew Spear. Mr. William Spear. Spears. Is that correct? Yes. They called him Bill. I don't know that. Well, now you know, uh, because that's what I've got. So that has come through, and I'm told to go to a road that could be called Thank Road or Unthank Road. It's I don't know which it is. Unthank. Pardon? Unthank. Unthank. Then you know Mr. Spear because he had a contact with a road similar to that. Would you know that? I can't place that. All right, well, will you, you know. I will. Don't forget, when you find it, do apologize to me about it. I will. Because I like to know, you see, and it is important that um, it goes, um, don't take this wrong, what I'm going to say to you, but when you were at home, did you have marks on a wall yes. when you grew? Yes. Do you know, it's a gentleman here, and he keeps on saying, I used to put the mark on the wall to see if he'd growed any. If he could reach. Pardon? <laughs> yes, he did. That's correct, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes, he's here, and wishes to be remembered there. And I have to tell you that they brought a dog here. Yes. And it was a dog that was in this house yes. at that particular time. That's great. And they're talking about a gentleman by the name of Jack. I and knew... he was a friend of your father's. Yes, he was. That's right. And you remember the Morrises as well, don't you? Yes, I do. That's right, because they here. And there's a gentleman also that worked on the railway. And I want to go to um, something to do with the railway that was not very far from you. That's correct. Is that correct? Yes. And they're sending, they want me to ask you of some concern to do with David. Who is David, sir? 
I someone living here? I can't think. Uh, I know several Davies, but I can't think of a concern. I see. Will you keep that in your mind? I, will. I, I, I don't want to, you know, sort of force it onto you. No. But I know you're going to know what I'm giving to you. Thank you. All right? And uh, just be a good lad. I'm told, <laughs> sir. I mean, we all have to go to the bank. Well, I don't know how you are, but I don't like the manager smiling at me too much. <laughs> uh, I go in and try to miss him if I can. Because when he smiles, I think, what's he want? You know, here. <laughs> But you've been going through a very funny period. And it's a period of where you've had to weigh various things with each other. Yes. And you had some news a while ago that didn't go down awfully well because you were a little upset of why you'd be able to get through this year if this situation carried on. I've got good news for you. The whole situation is turning the corner. And I'm quite sure you'll come to the end of this year much better than what you're thinking at the present time. That's good. You understand that? <laughs> yes. That's what I've come to tell you, and it is to make you feel happy about things and uh, not to let yourself get too disappointed. Do you live in Westfield? No. I just picked up something in Westfield. That's where I thought I was. Um, there's no one there that's got a contact with Westfield with her. <laughs> Sorry? Oh. Um, could they be relation through your father? Yes. Because it's your father that is here. Do you understand that? Yes. And. Um, they're talking to me about Westfield. Yes. And I felt that it should have a link with you. Do you remember a family named Cook? Yes. Hmm. Because there is someone here that wishes to be remembered to you with the name of Cook. Could your second initial C belong to your father? Could it be your father's initial? No, a mother's. Oh, mother's. Your, mo your mother's? Yeah. Oh, well, I felt it was to do with the parents. I can get away with it like that, can't I? <laughs> uh, but... That's what I got, you see, here. And I, someone was trying to get a contact with me, and as they were doing so, they told me to go to the second initial. Do you understand that? Yes. And... Um, they had met Mr. Legg on the other side. Hey. Do you remember Mr. Legg? The name, the name is familiar. Yes. You knew a Mrs. Legg, didn't you? Yes. Yes. And her husband had passed over, hadn't he? Yes. Yeah, well, that's him. <laughs> because that's the one I had. And uh, as I'm talking about this man, I, I feel this may be going back over 30 years with you. Yes. Could that be correct? Yes. Because I feel that I have to uh, go back. There is a contact to do with your father and uh, your mother, but I don't feel the contact is where you're living now. You must have moved away from your family. Yes, indeed. Yes. Because I don't feel there are a lot of you. Well, I mean... I don't mean a lot of you, the body, <laughs> a lot of the family. No. And I think that you moved away because you felt you had to move away. Is that correct? Wasn't this to do with your early beginnings of life? Uh, no, I moved away because of business. Well, all right, let me have that, you know, I'm not far off. <laughs> Nevertheless, that's what's coming through here, and I feel that they wish me to, uh, oh, They've told me, sir, um, that I have to go to where you are, or where you once lived, but it seems quite a long time ago. Um, and, oh, that's it. They've just told me, sir, you are the Westfield. 
I originally came from Westfield Close. Oh, well, there we are. Yeah. And, sir, you left there um, because you needed something different. And you are a person uh, that has to be doing things. Is this right? Yes. Yes. Does your wife get a bit fed up on it, you think? Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, because I hear a voice say, you're never there to do various things, but you can always find you doing something that you've no need to do, but you do. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> anyway, do you understand it in that way? Yes, I do, yes. Well, good. <laughs> uh, because I happen to have a lady here that must be your mother-in-law. Yes. That's passed over, I mean. Yes. Pardon? Yes. Well, she's here, and uh, would she be a person, sir, um, that looked at things very seriously. You know what I mean by that? Yes. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because she's looking at you and she says, well, he's done better than I thought he was going to be. <laughs> so I think she's taken to you a lot now, but I think she was careful before. Could you Possib accept it in that way? Possibly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, I have to tell you that. That's the way it's coming through. <laughs> and uh, for some reason there, She's brought you... Why have you brought in flowers? She's brought you flowers? She's brought you flowers. I mean, I would have thought fruits, but nevertheless, mm -hmm. she's brought flowers. And she's brought them here because she said, you love to have everything neat and colourful. Is that correct? That's true, yes. yes. And you love flowers yourself. Now, come on, be honest. I do, yes. That's yes. right. And you love to see them in the garden, but you love to have them around the place as well. I do. And you like a little pot here and a little pot there <laughs> just to brighten things up. Now, is that correct? That's true, yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, now, that's why they've come to see you. And uh, this, oh, you knew a man by the name of Prophet. Yes. Sorry, I didn't catch the name. Prophet. Prosser. No, Prophet. Proctor? No. No. Prophet. Prophet. No, I can't recall the name. Yes, you can. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about it, because I get that yeah. name there very clearly. And um, I am told, sir, uh, here, that you once lived in a house where you went off a main road into a, 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 a place that you couldn't go through. You had to come back again. That's Westfield Close, yes. Oh, there but it was off a main road. It was, yes. yes. And um, you did that. And um, you went the left side for your place rather than the right. Correct. Yes. Because if you went the left side, sir, there were a few more houses on that side than there were on the other side. Yes. And altogether, there probably were about ten houses. Yes, about right, yes. Sir. That's what I see. <laughs> and that's 30 years ago, isn't it? It is, yes. That's right, you see it now. So you see it hasn't gone. So therefore, sir, oh, and I have something else, some very good news to tell you. And that is, um, you're through the woods now. You're, you're through the woods, out of the woods. Oh, you're out of the wood now. And uh, I have to tell you uh, that you know you'll never retire, don't you? <laughs> I've already retired, yes. <laughs> well, and you're, you're doing as much work, aren't you, now, in various ways you did before? Very much so, yes. That's it. You'll never retire. <laughs> There'll always be a lot to do. And they wanted me to pass that on. I've just asked them if they can give me a house that's, and describe it to me, or let me see it. And all I can see is a house with a garden at the front, and I can see lovely um, blossoms on a tree at the front of the house. Yes, cherry, cherry trees there in the front are. garden. I can see it, and I can see a number on a gate, and it's number six. Correct. There we are. 